Welcome to signup.com. We're here to save you time and make your activities a success. No matter what you're planning, this short video shows how to get the most out of your organizer experience. After creating your first activity, log in to signup.com to access your organizer views and tools. Your dashboard is the central place to see all your activities at a glance. Scroll down to see the signups you organize and invitations to signups you're invited to. From a computer or tablet, you can also manage your group pages, where you can post multiple signups on one page, and you can also view your premium reports here. At any time, you can select Organize to view all the signups or group pages, where you're the primary or assistant organizer. Select My Invitations to view signups you're invited to as a participant. And finally, the My Tools tab on large green devices has advanced options for larger groups, including premium reporting, advanced messaging across several activities, and participant check-in. This is also where you'll import contact lists and manage organization and campus plan account memberships. Now let's take a look at managing a specific signup. Back on the dashboard, use the filter to select which signups show up on your list. You can also find your favorites, which are activated by clicking on the star next to the signup name. You can take several actions right from the dashboard for each signup. For example, you can preview your signup in the participant view. These same features are available on your smartphone. Now I'll select the signup title to open the organizer view. This brings up the spots tab, either in calendar or in list view. In the calendar view, it's easy to see your sign-up status at a glance. A clear green circle means that no one has signed up for this day. A solid green circle means all the spots have been filled. And a half circle means there are still spots left. Gray indicates that the day has already passed, and the numbers tell you how many spots are filled. If you need to prevent participants from signing up or making changes or canceling their spots for a specific day, just select the day and then select Lock, and this icon will appear on the locked days. An orange comment bubble means someone has posted a comment. To view or make changes on any day, just click anywhere in the box. From here, you can add a new spot for the day, or view and print a list of who has signed up, or you can copy the activity to other days. You can also delete the day or several days or lock or unlock the day, which we've already seen. To make changes to a specific spot, just click on the item title. Here you can edit the details, make manual assignments for participants, and then signup.com will automatically notify participants of their new assignments. And you can also view or post a comment or delete the spot altogether. Let's review the other organizer tabs that are listed across the top on large screen devices. Details is where you can change the basic information about the signup or your contact details. To affiliate your signup with a school, click this button. Lower on the screen, premium members can add assistant organizers, set up additional fields to collect participant information, or set a limit on how many times someone can sign up. To see a list of who has been invited and when they last viewed the activity, click the Participants tab. Then choose a specific name or email to edit or view the information about that person. Use Messages to send updates or thank you notes. And then click here to choose the recipients of a message by sign-up status, date, or a specific shift. To find out who has signed up on a certain day, Reports is where you want to go. There are many custom options here, including printing sign-up sheets, rosters, and even exporting your sign-up data. The most commonly used report is the sign-up or check-in report. Premium members can run our tracking reports, and if you're collecting money, your contribution reports will be here too. When you're ready to invite more people to sign up, or you want to copy a shareable link for your newsletters or social media or website, click Invite and choose one of these options. You can also invite people from a previous sign up or contact list. The Collect Money tab allows you to collect fees, 
dues, and contributions through our secure payments partners, PayPal or Stripe. And finally, the Settings tab has several options. For example, you can change your email preferences, such as when reminders are sent. You can indicate if you want to receive an alert each time someone signs up. Or you can type a custom message here, which will be sent with every reminder. Premium members can upload a required waiver or schedule times for the sign up to lock or unlock. You can also publish your sign up to an existing group page, a one stop shop for all your sign ups. Our basic organizer account comes with one group page. Premium, campus, and organizer plan members can publish an unlimited number of group pages. You can also change the background theme for your sign up. Choose one from here or upload your own image or logo. At any time during the process, click Preview Sign Up at the top of the page to see how it will look to participants. And when you're done, click back to the dashboard. The Tools pull-down menu gives you several options to help get your sign-up ready for a new season, including duplicating plans with a fresh date and passing the baton to a new organizer. You can also reset your sign-up with new dates and use the same URL for recurring activities. Archive any sign-ups you no longer need to save the plans for later. Need extra planning muscle, text reminders, or advanced reporting? Then our premium service is for you. Click Go Premium to review our plans and upgrade. With signup.com, your activities are sure to be a success. If you have questions, let us know by clicking here. Also, check out our Idea Center for fun planning tips to help along the way. Thanks for using signup.com, the easiest way to bring people together.